A Soviet project deemed obsolete in the 1970s turned out to be an advanced American development in the late 2010s. This project might not have attracted interest in Russia if not for one important circumstance, the appearance, as well as a number of technical solutions applied in the construction of Dream Chaser. Repeat the Soviet project of a reusable spacecraft that was developed half a century ago. We are talking about the Spiral Project, which was the forerunner of the much more famous Buran. Although the purpose of Spiral was anything but peaceful, this spacecraft was meant to be part of not fictional, but very real Star Wars. Three weeks after the first artificial Earth satellite entered orbit, the United States began preparing a response. It was not about launching its own artificial moon, but about creating a combat space plane. The X-20 dinosaur was conceived as a space interceptor reconnaissance bomber. In addition to reconnaissance, it was supposed to destroy enemy satellites and, making dives into the atmosphere, carry out bomb strikes on ground targets. Of course, this referred to nuclear bombing. When the USSR learned what the Americans were working on, the country's leadership set the task of creating a similar combat space plane. Thus the project called Spiral was born. The space plane was to be put into orbit using a hypersonic booster aircraft and a rocket stage. Landing was planned in the mode of a conventional aircraft. After the formation of the general concept at TSNII-30 of the Air Force, the task was transferred to the design bureau OKB-155 of Artem Mikoyan. Gleb Lozino Lazinski was appointed head of the Spiral Project. The military wanted to get a space plane that could perform several tasks at once. Therefore, the developers provided for several modifications of the space plane right away, reconnaissance, interceptor, space bomber. The last role deserves special mention. The Soviet space plane was being prepared for attacks on potential enemy aircraft carrier groups. Armed with a nuclear warhead space to earth missile, the space plane was supposed to attack the target already on the first orbit. Even a 200 meter missile deviation from the target ensured guaranteed destruction of an enemy aircraft carrier. The creators of Spiral were also preparing for the battle of spacecraft in orbit. In addition to armaments, a unique capsule was being developed for the Soviet space plane, in which the crew was supposed to be rescued in the event the ship was hit by the enemy. The ingenious Bast Shu. The Spiral project was being developed at a time when computer technology was far from perfect. Therefore, many solutions that are now entrusted to computers had to be found in other areas. Overcoming the dense layers of the atmosphere during descent posed an enormous problem. Critically important areas were protected by means of special heat shielding, which was later refined during the creation of Buran. But that wasn't enough. In the 1960s, it was almost impossible to control the descent so that the oncoming airflow touched only the areas protected by the heat shield. And then Gleb Lozino Lozinski proposed equipping Spiral with folding wing consoles. The self-balancing system worked as follows. At the moment when the speed reached its maximum during descent from orbit, the consoles of the triangular wings automatically folded, exposing the protected nose and bottom to the blow. The fuselage of the space plane was made according to the load-bearing fuselage scheme with a strongly blunted triangular tail shape in plan view. Looking at his brainchild, one of the creators unexpectedly said, now that's a bast shoe. And so it went, the combat space plane was affectionately called Lapid or Space Lapid by its developers. Titov's team, who was supposed to pilot the space attack aircraft. While the designers were developing the space plane, they began preparing its future pilots. In 1966, a group working on the spiral topic was formed at the Cosmonaut Training Center. The most famous member was the second Soviet cosmonaut German Titov. The group also included future cosmonauts Vasily Lazarev and Anatoly Filipchenko. Work on the space plane was difficult, and the matter was not only in the complexity of the task. At the same time, several space programs were being implemented in the USSR, and the spiral project turned out to be at the end of the queue for funding. This may have happened because intelligence reported that the American project to create a combat orbital spacecraft was stalled and close to failure. In addition, OKB-1, which was headed by Vasily Mishin after the death of Sergei Korolev, was extremely jealous of competitors, convincing the Soviet leadership of the futility of the very idea of an orbital airplane. In 1969, there was a reorganization at the Cosmonaut Training Center, and the group of pilots working on the spiral theme was joined by youth, Leonid Kazin, Vladimir Zanabekov, Yuri Romanenko, Vladimir Lyakov. They will all go into space, but will not become spiral pilots. How Spiral was replaced by Buran. 
Starting in 1969, suborbital prototype vehicles called BOR, Unmanned Orbital Rocket Glider, began to be launched as part of the project. Three modifications of the BOR vehicles represented 1 colon 3 scale models. Seven launches were carried out, of which two were completely successful. In 1973, the division of the cosmonaut squad that worked on the spiral project was disbanded in connection with the closure of the project. The paradox, however, is that at this time, government circles were already discussing the need to create a reusable space system in the USSR. In 1976, the Minister of Defense of the USSR Dmitry Ustinov approved the terms of reference for the development of such a system, and the need was explained by the fact that earlier such work had been started. In the USA, a decade later, the Energia Buran program situation repeated itself exactly, only now the response to the Space Shuttle program. A research and production association called Malnia was created to work on the project, headed by Gleb Lozino Lazinski. Spiral itself was considered a morally obsolete project that did not meet the latest requirements of the time. BOR-4, how the Soviet secret was handed over to the Americans. However, experts believe that many of the solutions used in Spiral were much more successful than those later used by both the Americans and our designers in creating the Buran system. The Spiral prototype did make it into space, more than once in fact. In 1979, the BOR-4 vehicle was created, which was a dimensional and weight model of Spiral at a scale of 1 colon 2. In 1982 to 1984, BOR-4 made four orbital flights. For publication, the launches of the vehicle were encrypted under the names of satellites of the Cosmos series. After one of the flights, BOR-4 splashed down in the Indian Ocean, where not only Soviet military ships were waiting for it, but also representatives of the Royal Australian Navy, who took a huge number of photos of the Soviet vehicle. The photos were passed on to the CIA, from where they migrated to NASA. After analyzing, American engineers were delighted. They recognized the design solutions of their Russian colleagues as brilliant, so much so that they were first virtually copied in the HL-20 orbital plane project, which was not implemented in the 90s and now migrated to Dream Chaser. There is no need to resent the Yankees. What we didn't need, they successfully use. All that remains for us is to bite our elbows and regret missed opportunities.